Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader uploading tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to sideload in Flipboard to your BlackBerry Z10. Now this version of Flipboard will actually work also for the BlackBerry Playbook, but we're doing it on the Z10 as a proof of concept and one of the reasons why Flipboard is gaining a little bit more prominence is because Google has suspended support for Google Reader. So a lot of people are looking for alternatives to Google Reader. I really like Flipboard. You can see on the on the Z10 at least, it's tremendously responsive. You can click on links, you can there's pictures, you know, it, it's a new way of interacting with sites. Flipboard by default has a number of default sites so you could establish interests such as gaming, technology, but you could also list uh, your own sites in uh, via RS feeds and things like that. So it's definitely working. Now how did we get it on the Z10? Well it's not as cut as and dry as just installing it. Blackberry in essence does not offer this app in its official app store. It's only available via apps.goodyreader.com. So we're in our settings menu and the only thing we really have to do on here is initiate developer mode. Now in order to do this we have to go to security and privacy and then developer mode and then we have to turn it on. Now it's asking us for a password. We're going to enter the password, password 12. Now this is important to note because if you ever decide to reboot your Z10 when developer mode is on, it'll prompt you for a password. But it won't actually say what this password is for. But note that it, this is the password that we just installed. And this password is important for the next step in the video. Okay, so what we did was plug our BlackBerry Z10 into our PC via the micro USB cable to USB. And once we've done that, we've loaded up our website here at apps.goodyreader.com. The next thing that we want to do is load Flipboard. What we're going to do is just simply download it to our PC. And as you can see here, it's pretty easy to find it's on the main site on the right hand sidebar. We have the most popular BB10 news and e-reading apps and then audio apps as well. So we're going to click on Flipboard. And we're just going to click the download button, which just downloads this to our PC. Now most recent versions of Flipboard actually don't work on the Playbook or BB10 devices. Uh, they did something with the code after this latest version number that really prevents it from working. So despite the fact that you may see that the Android version might be higher than this, this is the last known working version. So just for your own knowledge. Now, now that we have Flipboard downloaded to our PC, the next thing that we have to do, and this is the final program that you need, and once you download this, you can pretty well get anything that you want. You need to click on Essential Apps. And then there's, um, at the very top here, with over, wow, a lot of downloads, you can see here, load Android apps on the Playbook and BB10 ton of written tutorials, lots of video tutorials on the playbook and Z10, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to walk you right through it. You just download this app to your PC. It's a self-installing file, so once it's installed, you should see this. This is the main screen. This is the default IP address. It says playbook, but it really means BB10 as well. In order to generate this, you just click scan once your phone is plugged in. And then remember that developer IP password or the password I told you to write down. This was in settings, security, and then in development mode. Once you enter the password there and press connect, you should see this. Of course, your information for the PIN and version number will change depending on where in the world are you. But what, we're, what will remain consistent is the BlackBerry 10 symbol here. Now, what we've got to do is click on Add. And here's the Flipboard app that we downloaded. And notice it is in bar file. We're going to just select it and then press Install. Once it's installed, at the very beginning of the video, I showed you exactly how it looks and performs on the BlackBerry Z10. And 
pretty well all BB10 devices. This is exactly the experience that you'll enjoy once this gets to 100%. Please comment on this video if you have any questions or concerns. If you have any problems, we'll be more than happy to help you out. For all the latest uh, videos on not only this, but a lot of other app reviews, tablet reviews, e-reader reviews, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader. And remember, we have over 1,200 apps. We're the leading alternative app store next to BlackBerry. It's merely because we have apps like this and they don't. Check out apps.goodyreader.com. My name is Michael, and everybody take care.